Shabbat Shalom. Parashat Re'e is a very rich Torah portion, and many interesting subjects are discussed in, uh, in this Torah portion. And I would like just to uh, focus on four words that appear at the beginning of chapter 14, which usually uh, we skip them because we they are part of something else. But I would like just to cut them and share them with you. And these four words are Banim Atem Radonai Elohim. You are children of the Lord your God. This is an introduction to something else, but I am not concerned so much with the introduction of this, you know, of, uh, of I'm not concerned so much with what's going to happen after this, these words, but just the first four words in Hebrew, Banim Atem Radonai Elohim, you are children of the Lord your God. Because I find out that many times we don't see ourselves as children of God. We look at God as a very powerful God, as a king many times. That I guess is, you know, from the religious school or from, from the shul many times. And even though we say, Avinu Malkeinu, our father, our king, uh, this idea that God is my father, that God is a caring father, that God, that I, I am a child of God. I am a child of my father, I am a child of my mother, but I have the same relationship. I am a son of God. Banim atem ladonai What does it mean to be the son of God? I know that it has a different connotation in the different religion. And I don't want to talk too much about that different religion today to you, but I can tell you that maybe when it was said in that context of that different religion meant exactly what I would try to share with you, is that you and me and every single person, we have a relationship with God. We have a strong relationship, a close relationship, as a child has with his or her father. Banim atem ladonai What does it mean for me to go through life knowing that God is my Father? That I can hold my, put my hand there like that and that someone is holding me all the way. How did it feel when I was a child and I was very, very little and I just put my hand and my mommy and my daddy held my hand? I had the feeling of security, of safety, of comfort, of love. I have this feeling that nothing wrong was going to happen to me as long as someone is holding my hand and that someone was my father or my mother. And that we can have the same feeling towards God. That Hashem can be a real presence in our life. It's not just God, an abstract God that we find in a prayer, in a prayer book. What does it mean to walk through life and being loved by this God who is holding us by the hand figuratively, maybe even physically somehow, with his many blessings? How can I recover this relationship with God? in which I feel and I find myself being a child of God. It is very difficult because we live in a, in a world in which many times we don't see the presence of God permeating our experience. But this Torah portion is reminding us But Nima Tem Ladonai Loichem, you are children of the Lord your God. God has expectations from you, like your father does. God has love to share. Which is even more important, you are not alone in this world. I will try to live with this awareness. I am working on it. It's not so easy. Sometimes I live my life, you know, like I am all by myself. But sometimes I need this comfort that comes from knowing that I am not alone, that God is with me. 
that is what David said in Psalm 23 that we quote many times, unfortunately, many times at the funeral, but could be part of our lives every day, though I walk through a valley of the shadow of death. I fear no harm, for you are with me. Do I walk through a difficult and challenging time in my life? I fear no evil because you are with me, because I am holding this hand, because I am a child of Hashem, my God. Shabbat Shalom.